In the last few days, I found about this new blender add-on called Normal Magic, which is essentially a suite of tools that can help you with modeling by giving you a lot better control over mesh normals. Simply put, it tackles those annoying normal map and shading problems that every 3D modeler encounters. So how does this add-on work? And what exactly can it help you with? One of the first things I tried was using Normal Magic on a hard surface model with lots of booleans. You see, Blender's default booleans often leave nasty shading artifacts, but this add-on includes a custom boolean pro modifier, which completely avoids those normal issues by transferring shading from the original mesh. The difference was immediately noticeable. The ugly seams and dark spots were kind of gone. There's also a handy repair boolean normals tool for cleaning up any shading glitches after applying booleans. Together, these tools will save you from the usual manual cleanup, like adding weight normal modifiers or fiddling with the auto smooth. In general speaking, this is like a huge quality of life improvement if you do a lot of cutting or boolean operations. Normal magic shines when you are adding details to surfaces. It actually introduces a workflow for better surface blending that feels almost like kit bashing on steroids. Using the surface project modifier, I could project a detail mesh onto a curved surface, matching the target shape, normals, and even UVs. Then the surface insert lets you merge and weld that projected mesh onto the surface, as if it was always part of the original object. The result is a perfectly blended detail with no shading seams at the edges. Conveniently, the add-on auto masks the insertion area and preserves any sharp edges, so you don't have to manually paint vertex groups or lose hard creases. Beyond booleans and inserts, Normal Magic bundles what feels like every trick in the book, I mean for normal editing. There is a small normals tool that can smooth or flatten shading across a mesh, which is super useful for achieving a stylized look or even faking soft surface scattering on materials. On the flip side, if you have separate objects that need unified shading, a normal transfer modifier lets you copy and blend normals from one mesh to another. The add-on even includes advanced versions of Blender's weight normals, letting you weigh by surface area, face strength, or custom attributes with fine cutoff control. This, in addition to a bent normals tool, to calculate bent normals. This one is useful for ambient occlusion effects, and lets you calculate bent normals directly on geometry. In my opinion, normal magic absolutely is worth it. If you often deal with modeling and shading in Blender, the individual license is kind of reasonably priced because it didn't feel like you're getting something Blender could really do. Instead, it felt like getting a robust upgrade. I mean, to Blender's capabilities in this regard, it can save you a lot of time and effort in addition to a lot of shading headaches that previously required clunky workarounds. That being said, if you are a super casual user who never touches custom panels or doesn't mind few shading artifacts, you might not need this tool. But for anyone aiming for clean, professional results, especially hard surface modelers, game asset artists, or anyone picky about how their models catch light, Normal Magic is a game changer. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.